Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, this is Potato, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, and I'm back again to react to another vlog from Amberlynn Reed, who, granted, she never promised any kind of schedule, but she was posting about every other day pretty consistently. She did, in fact, I believe, skip a day, unintentionally maybe, I don't know, but she did just post this morning, okay? So her upload schedule right now, all over the place. To her credit, she never promises anything, which I do appreciate because I'm very much about not promising something uh, that you can't deliver. That was just the schedule that I was getting slightly accustomed to now that she was in Oklahoma and now she's no longer following the every other day schedule. But it's okay. She's still posting. We still have entertainment and we still got stuff to talk about. All right. I am going to be drinking a little diet soda today. So if you are at home and you want to, oh, I have a hair on it. <laughs> uh, if you're at home and you want to also crack open a little diet soda or the, the beverage of your choice, please join me. Cheers to you. And just so you know what we're about to get into today, because I am very intrigued. The title of today's video is called Gambling Addiction? Struggles Living Alone and Looking for a Girlfriend Bar Vlog. And you also just really, really, truly, really have to see the thumbnail because Showerlin has reappeared. <laughs> Showerlin is back, back, back again, and Showerlin is in the thumbnail of her video. It's her chilling, <laughs> chilling in her shower with a towel wrapped around her body and a towel in her hair. So, uh, lots, lots to look forward to, I think, in this video. I, I can't wait to see what happens. Uh, I kind of honestly, truly get the vibe that also maybe she's just going to be responding to like some rumors or theories or something. I do know that she did come back to Instagram and post another like Q&A thing. I don't, I didn't check to see if she actually posted any answers. Let me go do that real quick. Okay, I have checked and I have confirmed. She did post about uh, 20 hours ago, she posted an ask me a question thing on her Instagram stories, but did not answer any questions. So I do see a world where this could potentially just be her responding to questions she got. Although I will say this is only 10 minutes and usually for Q and A videos, she really tries to milk the fuck out of those. So I don't know, I don't know. We'll see. I just like to try to predict what is coming before we watch the videos. Sometimes I'm right, sometimes I'm wrong. But you know what? Let's just get to get to, shall we? Hello, good morning. Hi. Maybe 10 minutes ago. I okay. I have my ear. Of course. So listening to your mama. Yes, I am. <laughs> He's so cute. Anyways, I am looking <laughs> Easy. So let's. I do. Get ready. I do. Uh, listen again. I need to say this because apparently, just me mentioning other reaction channels these days means that I'm I'm beefing, that I'm I'm throwing shade, that I'm uh, frustrated, whoever, whatever. And the last time that she brought up your mama and I commented on it, people are like, "Why do you hate your mama?" I don't hate your mama. I just think that it's interesting that Amber Lynn likes your mama so much because a lot of the content. Um, that I've seen, which, to be fair, is selective. I've not watched most of his content, if we're being honest. But I have seen clips where he, like, makes fun of people in really derogatory ways and talks about women in really derogatory ways. And Amber Lynn has, in the past, been very outspoken about how, like, even people like Chantal that she doesn't like shouldn't be called certain things and this, that, the other... And so I just find it interesting that she likes your mama. I also think it's interesting because, you know, Amber Lynn has had her opinions about reaction channels and things like that as well in the past. And, you know, I, I always find it also interesting which one she picks and chooses. 
um, that she likes or doesn't like on any given day. Having also been one of those people where once upon a time, like at different points, she hasn't had a problem with me and at different points she has had a problem with me, you know? So nothing against your mama or literally any other reaction channel because I don't watch them. <laughs> but, but uh, you know, outside of like some clips that I see on Twitter and things like that, like where I have seen some examples, that's what I'm saying is what's surprising. For all I know, maybe your mama doesn't talk about people like that that much. Actually, what I will say, I, the biggest memory of this that I have is back when the garlic bread, Just Breeze In, and Jessica Mesca stuff was happening. I did actually watch one of his full live streams just for the context, and that's when he was like talking um, really negatively about both Jessica Mesica and Just Breeze In, and not like in terms of things that they did or didn't. He was, like, calling them derogatory things about, like, the way they looked and stuff like that outside of, like, there may be poor choices related to garlic bread. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, for all I know, maybe your mama has changed his ways or maybe that was a one-time thing for your mama and he's not like that and why that's why she enjoys his content now. But I just wanted to, to add that. Anyways, oh my god, I've talked way too much about your mama and we're only 15 seconds in to Air Berlin's video. Together, shall we? Okay, so before I shower... I brush my hair, which I already did. I to get all of the knots out before I wash okay. my hair. But I go okay. through phases where do I brush my teeth in the shower? Do I brush them out of the shower? Right now we're out of the shower phase. So I always brush my teeth before I shower. Wait, wait, wait. Is she, is she calling brushing her teeth not in the shower a phase? Is this like, you know, when, when you were younger and you went through an emo phase, a goth phase? She's in her, I brush my teeth out of the shower phase. She's so quirky. Second of all, though, the other thing I want to say is in Kentucky, we got a full ass video of her giving us a shower tutorial, a tutorial of how she showered. And so, I one, I don't need, think I need to see this in the context of Oklahoma. Uh, I, I would guess the reason she's doing this is that there has been a lot of speculation about if she can fit in that shower. Um, I think, I didn't say that I didn't think she could fit in the shower. I think my thing was that, like, whenever she first moved into this space, she said that she purchased a shower liner and a shower curtain after the fact of taking a shower. And so the one thing that I had to say about this shower is that I was wondering how she did that with, like, the the realistic idea of how much space her body probably took up without water getting all over the place. But anyways, I don't need another shower tutorial. I believe that you shower, Amberlynn. No worries. Okay. Work. Alright, shower is completed. <laughs> what? I, I use trust. <laughs> Wait, wait, I need to, I need to see that reveal again because that's totally not real. Like, that's obviously such a staged, a staged thing, right? Like, nobody comes out of the shower wrapped up in a towel. And so I'm just like, if this is to prove that you shower, that's not, it's not working. But I want to watch it again because that was comedy to me. That was very funny. All right, shower is completed. And I'm really wondering which one is. <laughs> I use Tresemme shampoo and conditioner. <sighs> and now it's Oh, also, wait, I was, I was like, how is this, how is this towel staying up? But I'm not convinced that the towel is fully wrapped around her. I think it's literally just like tucked into her armpits. And if she raised her arms up too much, it would fall and we would get a whole entire show we didn't pay for. Cause like, look at like, how the towel on the edges is just hanging loosely. Very much no and you, you'll see it on the other side too, because she does lift up her, her arm a little bit. I use Tresemme shampoo and conditioner. Love like it. right here, right here, see? that Her backside is not being covered by this towel right now. She is playing a risky game. I mean, I guess she could just edit it out if her if her boobies do come out or if like her, her naked body is shown. But I'm like, this seems like risky fucking business, girly pop. 
And now to keep my skin super oh, come soft, on. I use Cetaphil. Yeah. Moisturizing cream. Okay, so now that I'm dry and my ears dry, I can put my earbud back in. I usually oh, keep God. this on my head for about 20 minutes. I'm actually about to do my makeup. We were first. we were all concerned that you were gonna put your earbud back in. Thank you so much for making sure it got home safely. I was really worried. It's kind of like when when your friend leaves and heads home and gets in the Uber to go home. And they're like, I'll text you when I get there. And you're like, oh my gosh, please do. I, I'm so concerned about you getting home safely. And then they never do. I'm guilty of that. I'm so glad we got a text from the AirPod letting us know that it made its way back to the ear. Next up is foundation, dewy and smooth fit me foundation, which is my favorite. Okay. Next up is my eyebrows. I just use some e.l.f. Stuff that I've used sure. really for years. Sure. Okay, so here we have everyone's favorite part. It, it is mine. Eyeliner, which I use um, e.l.f. liquid eyeliner, which is also my absolute favorite. So next okay. I'm just adding some NYX glitter on my eyes, which every time I wear this stuff, you guys always ask, what is that? I get DMs you, off the You evening. guys always <laughs> ask, even though I've told it in videos 1,200 times. Same. It's this little guy right here. I, I see it. I do need to fix my nails. I know. Next I step wasn't going to say anything about it, bestie. Blush bloody. <laughs> I wasn't going to say anything about it. At this point, your nails are fucked up more than they're done correctly. So I don't, I don't honestly give a shit. Which I love. And by the way, I looked up what up the yin yang means because I swear I've heard it before. And it means in large amounts. So it's not something I just came up with. Because sometimes <laughs> I'll say something and I'm like, have I said that before? Have I heard that from someone? Did I make that up? You guys know, like, situation type deal. Like, I made that up, but I've said it so much, and now, like, she's other people so, say it's She's me, so quirky. That I am like, did I start something? Is did she, I start is she so quirky? A revolution? <sighs> Wait, I should go back to bed. So, for mascara. She, she's just starting all kinds of hip trends. People definitely didn't start saying situation type of deal because they were like saying it ironically they totally started saying it because it's so cool that you started that uh, i use maybebelline lash sen lash sensational oh my god it's a mouthful next mm. is oh girl what do you know about a mouthful <laughs> what do you know about a mouthful um lip moment type deal there's a little kitty on it isn't it cute this is sure. winky lux in the color Kiss and tail, which it's not tell as in T E L L. I got it's it. It's tail as in I, like I got T -A -I -L, it. Because it's a cat. Get it. I, okay, I so got this it. Is on for a little longer than I would. Ooh, think. Brawlin is back. First showerlin and now Brawlin. You love to see it. I think. <laughs> I think you do. I have to say, I'm I'm a little conflicted. This is the most in depth like get ready with me. She's done, which in the past, like, I have critiqued her for, um, she'll, she'll get ready on camera, but she'll just do, like, a, a, like, fast forward time lapse of it all, and I don't find that really interesting, but I, I guess it's like, I, I guess I don't particularly find it interesting to hear about all the things she's using, but I bet there are people that do appreciate that and would want to know, so... I do appreciate that update in the content at least this once, <laughs> at least this one time. I also am kind of gathering that maybe we're not going to get any outside of the house content in this particular vlog because it seems to be a, a lot of, a lot of filler so far about things she's doing in her home. Get to? Hi. So, obviously, she's still wet. I do not brush Ooh. my hair. What do you know about her still being wet, <laughs> bestie? What do you know about that? When my hair is wet. That's a no for me. I just noticed from my experience, it takes out a lot of my hair. Sure. I'm also not going to crimp it. I'm not going to straighten it. I'm not going to sure. do anything with it because I have sure, been using sure, sure. heat on it almost daily. Today, she's just going to be all natural. Let's go. So, I already chose what I'm going to wear. Um, I did it last night, and I just sat it right here. So... <laughs> And then the hairs that I'm not using, I just I, I love closet. I love how she prepares the night before for what she's gonna wear to do what <laughs> sit around your home all day. I love that though. I I do know people that do that. I know that like 
Noel does that a lot before the night before he has to go to work so that he can just like get up and grab it the next morning because he's usually, you know, like in the rush to get to where he needs to go. That's right there. Okay, so I'm about to do deodorant. Um, oh. Love is Th and pink Thank chest, God. And like Thank that. God you're showing us you putting on deodorant. What would I have done without this content? Favorite. Now I'm just putting on my daily hoop earrings because it's literally what I wear every single day. Work. I don't know why. I just love them. And then we have my daily choker. My daily choker. Where's my? Where's my daily choker? Well, all right. So perfume of the day is gonna be some Billie Eilish. Okay, perfume so of the day. Get a room by Confessions of a Rebel. Not currently sponsored by them, but used to be. Ah, uh, ooh, I think some got in my eye. What are you doing, Zach? I love kind of getting ready with her. Oh, and she's about to do nail polish. I don't need to do my nails, but you all do ask a lot what I what I have on. And I currently, this is, um, I all, all of my nail polish is Holo Taco, which is a brand that was started by a YouTuber called Simply Nail Logical. And this one is in Spirit Fingers, which was a, a collaboration she did with uh, Sophia Nygaard. What I've been using, the brand is Essie in the color after school boy blazer 795 all right i never said i was a professional but i don't think it, i don't think it looks okay, bad so I, just... I don't think i think you did a good job on those nails they look good also why are we why are we wearing sunglasses and the hoem what what is this about what is this new trend that she's doing i don't i don't understand Fox twinkie I got some packages. This is gonna be my first Amazon haul in this apartment. Oh, thank God. Um, these, are, these are things that I actually need. So we have a box. And a I feel like, and honestly, truly, so far, this, this vlog is giving me more Kentucky era because this is the type of content she relied on when she lived in Kentucky. We have been so fortunate in Oklahoma to get so much of her, like, going out and doing things that we haven't seen her do before. Like the, like the casino, like the bingo. Um, even, honestly, truly, I mean, I know we've seen her go shopping before, but we haven't really seen her shopping trips in the detail that she's been doing them in Oklahoma in a long time. So... You know, this is this feels like we're going a little bit backwards in terms of content. We got a get ready with me where she did her makeup and stuff, and now we're getting an Amazon haul. I also ordered um, some food. I had this Cajun restaurant last night, and it was so uh -huh. good. So, so I was like, girl, I kind of want that again. So 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 we're ordering takeout. Great. Great, good, 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 good. Wonderful. All right, so the first thing that I got from Amazon is I have been seeing this. Why do I still have my sunglasses on? That's Literally a great forgot. question. Oh, <laughs> okay, I'm so sure you forgot. This everywhere. It's the uh, His Smile Color Corrector Serum is what they call it. Um, okay. It's for your teeth. And everyone just oh, it's for your teeth? So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. This Wait, it's for like, your I'm teeth? Sure you guys have seen this ad literally everywhere. So I will try this and I will maybe even film it for you guys to see, like, does she actually work? Because I'm weird about, I'm weird about buying stuff from the internet to, like, make my teeth brighter or things like that. I would much rather, I have, I have talked to it. For anybody who thinks that I have, like, not white teeth, they could definitely be whiter. And once upon a time, I did talk to my dentist about getting them, like, professionally whitened. But I don't, I don't know that I would, I, your, your teeth are just so sensitive, you know, <laughs> like, like your teeth can, can get fucked up so easily. I don't know that I'm trying to trust things from the internet to like do anything to my teeth. I don't know. That's my, my personal, my personal worry with whatever this is. You guys know I'm not going to be lying to you and ads do lie. And then in here, I needed Wait, to wait, did she? <laughs> Wait, it took a second to set in, but did she just say, y'all know I'm not going to be lying to you and ads do lie? I mean, I don't disagree. Like, the point of ads is to try to get you to buy their product. So, like, they're going to tell you that it's amazing, whatever. But how am I supposed to believe that you're not going to lie to me, bestie, <laughs> when you have the track record on the internet of lying, of being a whole goddamn lie? <laughs> 
<laughs> when you have a meme on the internet that is a thumbnail from one of your videos of you reacting to yourself lying, like, please be serious, girly pop. Pair of flats, and I personally love their flats, so I just got a black pair. Oh, good. It goes with literally everything. You so. know what Amberlynn doesn't have enough of? <laughs> Some black fucking ballet flats. Oh, that's all I got. It's just two things I needed. Toothpaste and shoes. All right, so here's oh. what I got. Is this cage? Guys, this is so good. It's called like a seafood e-toffee. I don't even know. <laughs> E-toffee. <laughs> e-toffee. <laughs> Not her saying eat coffee. <laughs> yes. I mean, I guess if you've never seen the word, it, 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 I could see how you'd mispronounce it, but that is funny to me. I'm glad she's also including here the proper pronunciation. Etouffee. And it comes with rice. You just like eat it together. Like Thank that. you for the tutorial. So take the first bite together. Let's fucking go. <laughs> let's go. Mm. Wow, this is so good. And it's spicy, very spicy, and I love spicy, so it's like... I also love just comforting food, and this is comforting to me. Mm. It's All right. It's like doing laundry. <laughs> All right. Just transferring. I wonder if there's a food that Amberlynn would identify as being not comforting to her. I'm just out of curiosity. My clothes to the dryer. I don't know about y'all, but like these Samsung washer and dryer moment situation type deals, they're squeaky. Is that normal? Because if it's not normal, I need to let the apartment know. So I actually just put it on Instagram for you guys to ask. Is, is it squeak? <laughs> what do you mean by squeaky? I would need more information what you mean by squeaky to let you know if that's normal or not me some questions because oh, I feel like there's a lot of like, wait okay so I actually just post on Instagram for you guys to ask me some questions because I okay so that's what I referred to at the beginning of this video just so that we're on the same page all right let's go she's gonna answer some I feel like there's a lot of like hot questions I usually put the dryer also on. though you know what that indicates to me she is she doesn't have any more pre-recorded videos ready to go <laughs> that's what that indicates to me because like I told you she posted that from whenever I went to go look at it uh, while filming this video, she posted that like 20 hours ago. So this has all happened within the past probably 24 hours. For some reason I forgot. All right, what clothes and dryer sheets? We are ready to rumble. Let's go. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> what? I don't think that's normal. And I've been purposely- Wait, wait. <laughs> wait, why, why, why did she put me in her video? <laughs> and why was I thinking the exact same thing in that moment? I was like, what the fuck is the problem? Like, why are we watching, watching your dryer and washing machine? And then, and then and then I popped up on the screen and said, are, are you okay? Who? <laughs> Wait, also though, this is it. This is it. what I was actually, I don't know what I was reacting to here, but I can tell this isn't what I was actually, she, she, got, she put in the clip. Look, look at her editing skills here, okay? This is impressive. She's learned a lot because <laughs> she put in the clip right here. She put this clip in to make it be what I was reacting to. Because <laughs> this is not me because I don't I don't have like a, a white box as you can see right now on my um on my screen. I don't put a white box around the video I'm reacting to. So I was just like, what is going on here? I don't I don't know what I was reacting to here. It's honestly truly though a recent video because um I, I only recently started doing this little part down the middle situation type of deal, and uh, y'all have really responded positively to it. Y'all really like it. 
uh, which I appreciate. Thank you so much. Uh, but I'm so curious. And also, of course, Miss Amber Lynn Reed is out here watching my videos, watching all the reaction videos. Let's just be very fucking honest, which is just so funny to me because, you know, the last I knew, she claimed she wasn't watching <laughs> reaction channels. But I guess I guess she's back. Hi, Amber Lynn. So good to see you, bestie. Glad to have you here on the channel. Thanks for watching. Are you okay? I don't think that's normal. And I've been purposely doing small loads, thinking maybe like I was doing too big of loads. I don't... What do you know about doing too big of loads? <laughs> but no, that's not what I was going to say. Uh, I don't know that it necessarily sounds bad. I mean, I guess if you are concerned, yeah, just have, have your apartment management maintenance people come and check it out but I think I think it sounds fine I don't know I'm not I'm not an expert my I don't know that mine are that loud but I don't know you're also in a rental and a lot of times rental units just have older equipment and it can be loud you know which I know but I'm not like it's only like halfway through I wouldn't call that squeaky though that noise. that can't be normal so I'm definitely gonna contact the all right yeah owner. you better do that I know that there's maintenance for a reason I just hate bothering people it's like this weird thing up here okay you guys so like okay. I said I had you guys ask me some questions so let's answer let's some of go them. So difficult part of this move honestly the hardest part for me is the first 20 minutes to like an hour when I first wake up in the morning especially the especially first, like, especially especially three minutes of waking up because I'm just hit with this like wave of just like heartbreak depression loneliness like the worst feelings you can feel, and it's That's... heavy. It's like morning every single day. Will you weigh yourself on camera anytime soon? Yes, I will because okay, I have answer that. Women. <laughs> okay, I listen. I I hear I hear the cries. I hear the 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 comments. I definitely understand. It takes everybody different amounts of time to get over. A breakup, the ending of a relationship, everybody has their own process, this, that, the other. I feel that, and I even feel that for Amber Lynn to some extent, outside of the fact that, like, you know, she has told us and claimed before that she was over it and she's moved on and she's ready to be out of her heartbreak era and this, that, the other. But outside, <laughs> outside of that, like, if you really are feeling this way, and I guess, like, Amberlynn's never gonna listen to this, although she does watch. So Amberlynn, if you're watching, but also just for anybody, like if you're waking up every morning truly feeling like some kind of like dread, anxiety, depression, and it takes you like 20 to 30 minutes to like be able to function and be able to, to get on with your day, that's not the end of the world. I want you to know that, but like I think it is a, a pretty good indication that like you're experiencing some things that you're gonna need some kind of assistance with. And, and that's not like in a, a bad drastic way, right? Like it's not the end of the world, but like I think that that to me, if like somebody in my life told me that that was going on, if when I was working in a residence hall, when I was a hall director and in charge of RAs and in charge of the students that lived in the building I worked in, if I found out that a student was waking up like that every day and like struggling to get their day started, I would have a conversation with them about talking to a counselor, talking to a therapist, and, and seeing what's up because that's like not a way to live life, you know? I think we can all resonate with having a day or two where we feel like that, but it's it's also a good indicator that like you, you're not in a great place if that's what's happening every day. I just want to say that I think that that could be helpful for somebody to hear. It's not, you know, a bad thing to have to reach out to somebody to talk to a therapist. I see a therapist every other week. It's a part of how I maintain my mental health. And, um, you know, if you find yourself in a similar situation to, to Amberland, then I would say definitely, definitely consider that as an option. Myself, since you guys saw my last way in, and I think it's about time. Does going to bingo and the casino feel addictive to you? No, not at all. If I'm being honest, bingo is kind of boring, and I could never go to a casino for the rest of my life and totally be fine. So if- Wait, I wanna- <laughs> 
I want to push back on the bingo thing because, well, I don't know. Maybe I'm projecting because I've enjoyed the bingo content. But it seems like you've been enjoying yourself there. So why are you calling it boring now? I feel like you're just calling it boring because you don't want people to have the impression that you're addicted to it or whatever, which I don't know. Is it a problem to be into bingo? I know that there are like probably the places that she's going to play bingo. I'm pretty sure you probably do have to pay something to play it. But like the bingos I've participated also in the past have happened at like restaurants, gay bars, um, etc., where you don't have to pay anything. Like, you obviously are going to be, like, patronizing the establishment that it's happening at, so you're probably spending some money there anyways. But, like, there are places where you don't have to spend money to participate in bingo, and I don't consider bingo necessarily the same as, like, going to the casino and putting all of your money into, like, the slot machines or the, the blackjack tables or things like that. <laughs> you know? I will also say, just to keep my stance clear on, like, gambling addictions and things like that, I don't think that Amberlynn currently has a gambling addiction. I don't even necessarily think that back when she was doing the scratch-off lottery tickets last Vlogmas, I don't even necessarily think that that was any kind of addiction. I, I, I truly don't. I brought it up when the casino content happened because I do remember the discourse from the, the scratch-off lottery tickets because people were worried that she had the ability to get addicted. And then, two, because I do understand where, like, some people have that worry, right? Like, I don't know that we, she's done any kind of, like, behavior on camera thus far to qualify her <laughs> as a gambling addict. But I do understand why people have that worry because she's talked about how she gets addicted to stuff or has an addiction and how her family members have addictions and things like that. And it, it could be something that could happen, like, reasonably. But I don't think she's there yet. Just for the record. And I also am not a person to, like, have any kind of qualifications <laughs> to make that assessment about a person. But I do understand where the worry comes from. Things like gambling, for me, I just, it's not an addictive thing for me at all. So, I don't okay. have to worry about that. Did Great. you buy that wallet for your mom? See, and that question made me feel bad because no, I didn't. Should I have? My mom works really hard for her money, so she's very just uh -huh. like, I'll pay for my own stuff. You don't have to worry about me type deal. Like, she's that type of woman. So, uh -huh. I did not buy her the wallet. Are you looking for it? I, I, I... Do you think that's a fair question? Because you, the way it seems and the what we know about you and what we know about you is that you do frequently shower friends or people in your life with gifts and things like that. I don't think it's the end of the world if you do or don't. But it, the impression, and I've certainly said this myself, the impression that I have right now is that, like, Mama Lynn and or other family members in your in your orbit right now probably are are getting some kind of financial kickback from from being around you, which is fine if you want to give people gifts that you like. That's fine. Girlfriend, right now, no. I want to be single. I don't want to be in a relationship. Mm. It's not something that like I'm looking for. Which is your your TikTok says otherwise, bestie. I just watched a bunch of those little shits yesterday. I I did a reaction in case you missed it and. Your TikTok says otherwise. Crazy because it's like, I feel like I've always been in a relationship or just like looking for one. And right now I'm like, no. There is some love life drama behind the scenes Ugh. that I'm not going to talk about. Things Ugh. that I do deal with on, on a day-to-day -day basis. What? What could... Which could probably seem confusing now that I've even... What could that even be though? If you're not, if you're not looking, if you're not looking for a girlfriend, but you have love life drama happening behind the scenes, but you're also so sad every day because you're no longer with wifey, what could that possibly be? And, and why bring it up if you're not going to say anything? But that's, I listen, that's a fucking broken record at this point. <laughs> it's not an Amber Lynn Reed video if she's not bringing up something that's happening somewhere that she can't talk about. You brought it up. 
Will we eventually meet Mama Lynn and does she want to be on YouTube? I hope so. My mom is super camera shy. I've asked her if she's ready to be on camera and uh -huh. she's not. But she does like to talk a little, wave at you guys, whatever it may be. But she's not ready to like be on camera. Do you have any? I guess I get that. There was somebody who commented on my video that like made a point that really resonated with me, which is that I don't... Like, they didn't understand why Mama Lynn would be opposed to being on camera at this point, because we do all know what she looks like. Like, Amber Lynn has shown pictures of what her mom looks like in the past, and she even has that picture of her and, and Mama Lynn in the background. It's sitting, you can't see it in this shot, but it's sitting on that shelf behind her. So, like, we know what she looks like, so she's gonna be off to the side talking anyways, I don't know or understand what the issue about being on camera is. I guess I get the the concept that maybe she's like camera shy, I guess, or like worried about what she'll look like on camera. I don't know, but it doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Struggles living alone. I genuinely don't think so. Like I'm standing here trying to think of something. I can't think of anything. You like I'm capable of living on my own. I've said that for ever now. I she think my has. Main struggle and the hardest part has just been waking up alone and having to remind myself every day like 50 first dates that movie with drew barrymore and adam sandler which i love uh -huh. i just feel like every day i wake up i have to remind myself that i'm not waking up to the person i was with to the person i loved i'm not waking up to hug them or okay see them you or laugh with them like, <laughs> I, I, I really am trying not to pause all the time, so I hope you, I hope those of you that sometimes think that I pause too much, I, I hear you, it's very hard for me not to, I hope you appreciate that I just waited for her to talk so long, and I haven't hopefully forgotten all the things I was gonna say. One, I find it so fascinating that she's like, you know, I don't, I don't have any struggles living alone, but yet she has shown us her struggling to do the laundry, shown us her struggling to build a lamp, <laughs> talked about her struggling to use a debit card at the grocery store. But, but, but sure, Jan, you've never had, you haven't had any struggles uh, being by yourself. The other thing that I just want to point out is she says that it's such a struggle for her to wake up in bed every day and not be next to the person who she, you know, loved and had been waking up to. But didn't she say, didn't she say that wifey was sleeping on the couch in Kentucky? So allegedly you hadn't been waking up next to her unless something changed and you didn't tell us. I mean, granted, I know that Fingerlin had her, her way a few times and she got some hickeys and that they did hook up. But I, I was under the impression that wifey was sleeping on the couch. What happened? What's, what's the tea? What's the story? That's just been the hardest part. So there are four more questions that I will not be answering, but these are questions that I will be talking about in the near future, but I oh. just want to like let you guys know what it is. So these are the four questions what? that you guys will officially... What's the point of this? What's the point of this? Why, why not just answer them later then? <laughs> why do I need to know what questions you're maybe going to talk about in the future. Because the thing is, is that I'm not even convinced that you will. <laughs> this feels like a tease. We have answers to. Have you ever been asked to be on a reality TV show? What she was has. the psychologist you said you were going to that specialized in something? What did right. you tell us during your weight loss surgery journey that you can share now? Uh and what was the thing that you were going to tell us once you moved? So all of that... Uh, lo looking forward to hearing it. I will say, I, I will say, I've been waiting for her to say something about the weight loss surgery stuff. Uh, I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been waiting. And I've been waiting. Um, and, and I'm curious. I'm curious. If, if, you're, if you're on my Twitch, you know. If you follow me on Twitch, you know that I've been waiting to see what she'd have to say about that. Um... So we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if she actually ever does. And also, though, I will say for some of these things, like the weight loss surgery thing, you know, who at this point, who gives a shit? <laughs> at this point, I mean, like, I've been waiting because, because I'm me. But, like, if you think about it also, 
at this point, the, the weight loss surgery journey has been done for a minute. So, like, what's it even matter? What's it even matter? For, for a weight loss surgeon that you don't even live in the same state as anymore. Well, allegedly. Allegedly, she never lived in the same state. Allegedly, according to her, she never lived in the same state as her weight loss surgeon. But now I would guess you for sure don't live in the same state as your weight loss surgeon. So who cares? What's it even matter at this point? What's it even matter? Old fucking news. <laughs> is going to be answered soon. There's just no way, because most of this is like story time-esque, uh -huh. so there's no way I can answer all four of these questions in this video. I know this video <laughs> is more low-key. That's really what I was aiming for with this one. Okay. I hope you guys did enjoy, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Ooh, stunning. What a video. <laughs> Not necessarily the same level of excitement for me in terms of her doing fun things that uh, we haven't seen her do in a while or before, but fun in other ways. Like, was not expecting the Zachary Michael jump scare. <laughs> was not expecting that whatsoever. That is That was too funny. Uh, but fascinating nonetheless. Anyways, that is all I have time for, besties. I hope you all enjoyed today's video, and if you did and you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I love you all so, so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!